dear audience today in this short talk we are going to discuss the impact of cooperative learning on drama and how to conduct uh, its research actually this is uh, one of my student in south africa gana she's conducting research on the impact of cooperative learning in drama lessons in the senior high schools grade 2 uh, a case study of the jumbian senior high high school students and she is confused about uh, how to conduct the research and from where to start her research so uh, uh, we we have to discuss from where have to start and what have to do in the process of conducting this research first of all uh, she is supposed to write the introduction first of all more before that she should go on to the uh, internet and search what is the cooperative learning in journals cooperative learning in journal would be making her uh, understand that what are the benefits of cooperative learning and how the, uh, that impact influence the learning ability of the students as well then she should search out that uh, what is the uh, impact of that cooperative learning on uh, improving the grammar of the english language uh, first uh, uh, developing and uh, developing an effective introduction she has to include the research questions uh, that what are the research questions of her study for example there are different uh grammatical categories uh, one is the for example nouns pronouns preposition verbs adverbs conjunction or interjections and uh, after that she has to determine that what sort of the errors and the mistakes are the reading comprehension ability of the students she is going to uh, point out for that first of all she is supposed to the to conduct a pre-test means go into the classroom divide the students uh, means just number out the students and how many students are in that class so get a pre-test of that class give them a paragraph to write uh, journal for example write a paragraph uh, write some um, two pages or three pages and for example that might be a random assessment test means uh, uh, they can write on their own life they can write on their future aim they are even they can write about uh, uh, their their school life as well uh, they may write about their uh, happy birthday whatsoever they, they it would be free writing and uh, once they have written that that pre test get that checked and point out the what the errors they are doing in that uh, pre test and then focus means make the categories of those uh, grammatical categories means the students are poor in uh, use of the uh, noun pronoun verb or whatsoever so then use uh, then uh, divide that class into two groups one would be your experimental group and other would be your uh, uh, experimental and control group so uh, to the experimental group you would be using the cooperative learning strategies for example there are some strategies and also read from the internet and, uh, which which are the strategies and which are the more useful strategies are used in the cooperative learning for example think pair share is the uh, uh, cooperative strategy learning reciprocal teaching time pair share informal cooperative learning this uh, uh, jigsaw is the uh, strategy of cooperative learning so apply these cooperative learning uh, strategies on those students who are your control group on your experimental group teach for them to do up to oh, one month or 40 days and then conduct a uh, mm, uh, you, you know post test and then compare that pre-test results of those students. For example, once you conducted the pre-test, that would be of the whole class. And then you would be treating those cooperative learning strategies on your 
experimental group. So experimental group should not be uh, the student of one or two. It should be if the class is of the 40, then 20 students should be uh, kept in control group and 20 students should be um, in the experimental group. So uh, this uh, the day for one month or the 40 days, they are considered as the treat, uh, treatment period time. Um, it should be more one one month or uh, more than the one month. So then compare the results of those students who are included in the experimental group, their pre-test and the post-test. Then definitely, uh, uh, if you have been using the cooperative learning strategies, then they are results might have been improved from the pretest. then uh, uh, include that uh, means do the writings of your uh, analysis that uh, for example this joseph student he got uh, eight marks in the pretest, and uh, while you are when you applied that experimental in, in an experimental group that uh, cooperative learning strategies uh, his result definitely might have been improved as well uh, then you would be uh, pointing uh, it might be possible that he got 10 marks uh, in the post test and then uh, uh, po point out that percentage that uh, point out the percentage of each individual students as well that this student got improved so much by the impact of cooperative learning grammar and then uh, 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 do a whole uh, some sort of uh, analysis as well that uh, uh, to what degree to what uh, sort of the uh, grade and degree are in number are in percentage those students have improved all the students definitely uh, before that students would have in the pretest would have would have been getting lower grades and in the post test by the uh, application or the usage of uh, uh, cooperative learning strategies they might would have been improved and that would be the results of your study incorporate those results in the studies in your, in your research uh, and prove that uh, 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 cooperative learning strategies has a positive and significant impact on the improving of English grammar on, on your uh, population uh, uh, in the in that uh, uh, third chapter of your study you have to include the, the, the tools of assessment as well uh, and that how you conducted uh, that they, 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 I, there you have to explain that I used uh, this sort of test as a pretest and this test as a post test and what was their findings uh, and also uh, this would be more uh, uh, good if you process the, their results from the uh, software SPSS means uh, put their grades uh, uh, marks in the uh, which they got from the in the post test and then in the uh, pretest and make a comparison of that it would be very good uh, still, if you have any questions, you can ask me. I would be really there to help you out that. Goodbye.